We are coming your way from Toyota Park. The league's first four titles were claimed by these two sides. Tonight, they begin their journey towards the 12th edition of MLS Cup. with DC United taking on Chicago, Game 1 of the Eastern Conference semifinals. DC United in the black, the Chicago Fire in the red. DC United will go with a lone striker tonight. Guy Roland Capenni. It's game on here at Toyota Park. The 2007 Major League Soccer playoffs are underway. Here is Blanco. Beautiful cool night here. Blanco laying on top of the ball. There's playoff intensity for you. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, if you would have told me but this guy was only going to have three yellow cards at this point. Have more than but Tommy Stone's done a terrific job. He's my, he's my. Uh, over the top now. Rolf is going to try and get there. He's got Barrett in the box. Chris Rolf gets the shot. Of Dave Perkins. The first tester of this match comes from Chris Rolf and Perkins up to the task. Make a mistake in the first twenty. Probably see a goal. Look back. Shoot for Rolf. A stake at the back by D.C. and Chris Rolfe punishes him. Chris Rolfe right there, bouncy ball. That's one of the easiest shots in the world. You just keep that down. Goalkeeper can do nothing about it. They go for the ball. Sneaks in there. Oh, great finish. He just ropes that into the upper corner. Now, Birch got kind of ball watching, didn't got to get in front of his guy. And I like to see Chris Rolfe, like you say, get closer to the goal because when he gets in front of the goal, he's both. First defensive mistake of the 2007 MLS playoffs. You know, either of these teams is four games away from the MLS Cup final. Dying the Mexican great. Well, Kotemic, Kotemic Blanco has had a very good opportunity in this one, and he was stoned by Troy Perkins. Yeah, he had a good look, too. You know where he's going. He's lined up that post. The same thing as Rolf in the first minutes of the game. Wasn't able to find that back post. Pretty good positioning there from Perkins. He's in a great spot. He's cut off the angle well. Blanco. That this is the card, and this is one of the things that I worry about when it comes to Blanco, is because he's never seen this before. He's pissed at people and screaming at people. Blanco, Caitlin Carr trying to get in. Shay Parker for the beauty. He keeps DC United in it. Troy Perkins came up with a huge save on Kalen Carr. You know, watch the tugging going on by Namoff. I mean, he just, he, we were just talking about the speed of Carr. Namoff knows it. As soon as this ball goes in, he's like, oh boy, I better just do something. Grab him, hold him. Blanco on the left side has the crowd on their feet. Oh, Gets past Penny. Towards the back post, headed out by Burst. Straight, straight up in the air, cleared by Robinson. Four minutes of stoppage time has been added. That's a ton of time. This is going to be good. They're just going to pump it in there. Emilio lays it down for Gomez. Towards the back post for Moreno. Can't get there. Decent idea from Christian Gomez to Jaime Moreno. I actually thought it would have been a 2-0 game. I, I actually thought that after Wall School that maybe they would have been able to That's it. The Chicago Fire take Game one of the two-game series here in the Eastern Conference semifinals with D.C. United. The hero, Chris Rolfe, his goal in the 14th minute. Chicago 1-0 victors at home here at the Toyota Park.